A local home contractor under fire tonight accused of ripping off female customers. As women started calling our Jennifer Lukey months ago with complaints about Jeff Fordley. And tonight, Jennifer has the real deal on the Rensselaer contractor. It's been a tough year for Wendy Cotter. In March, she unexpectedly lost her husband. When he passed away, he, I decided that I would rent the upstairs mm -hmm. because I didn't have his income anymore. She went to HomeAdvisor.com and was referred to Fordley Construction. Jeff Fordley of Rensselaer agreed to remodel the bedroom, install windows and the sliding glass door, and add a side deck onto the upstairs of the home. A contract for the work was written, but... Each week he would ask me for more and more money. You know, there was $6,000, $7,000, $8,000. He would show me things and say that's what he needed the money for. In a matter of five weeks, Wendy paid Fordley $42,000. My husband's life insurance. The contractor tore a lot apart. There's wires all over the place. He tore the wires off. That's my cable. That's my electrical box. But he had major trouble putting it all back together again. It's garbage. Yeah. You know, a toddler could have done better. It's piss poor, to tell you the God's honest truth. Ben initially came to Wendy's house to install skylights as a subcontractor. But when I came here and I seen what he did, and then she told me that she gave him 42 cash up front. I knew that he was, I knew what happened. I knew that he was going to take her money and never see him again. There was really no reason to tear out the bookcases. That's Wendy fired Jeff said. and requested some of her money back. She hasn't gotten it. So we tracked down Jeff Fordley at his home in Rensselaer, and he knew exactly what we were there to talk about. There's no story I didn't do anything. Well, you took $42,000. <laughs> no, I didn't. You didn't take $42,000? No, no. You can call the detective before you hear me. For okay. What about all the material that was left there? Um, work that was done that was there? I agree. She owes money back. Absolutely. Um, the fact is, is how much? What's that? The bottom line is, she says she paid you forty-two thousand dollars, and what's there? We both agree is not forty-two thousand dollars worth of work. I have twenty-five thousand dollars in receipts for material that was left at her house. He was only able to produce about $10,000 worth of those receipts. CBS 6 has also learned that Fordley has been banned by Albany City Codes from pulling any permits. Inspectors found his work on a number of jobs was so shoddy it wasn't meeting codes. Everything was a lie. It's like a pathological liar. And he, and he, he came into your life at a very trying time. At the worst time, yep three weeks after my husband died. I reached out to HomeAdvisor.com to see what kind of background check they possibly could have done that would have led them to refer Jeff Fordley. As it turns out, they tell me that he was banned from their website in 2008 for a collections issue. He then reapplied earlier this year, but they said no because he had a bankruptcy filing. It turns out HomeAdvisor pre-screened Christopher Fordley, which we have since learned is Jeff's brother. One brother was feeding the other construction leads. That's The Real Deal. I'm Jennifer Lukey. Now, Jennifer has heard from other women who claim that Fordley did shoddy work at their homes, too. You're going to hear from them as well as more from Fordley himself tomorrow night at 11 as Jennifer continues with part two of her investigation.